वेलकम वेलकम बैक गैश माई वेलकम बैक गैश अगेन इन माई एंड्रॉयड सॉफ्ट वर्क टूटोरियल एंड इन दिस टूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ टू यूज चेक बॉक्सेस इन अवर एप्लीकेशन सो हेयर वी विल यूज चेक बॉक्स लाइक यूजर विल सेलेक्ट सम आइटम फ्रॉम चेक बॉक्स एंड द फाइनल सेलेक्शन बाई बटन बिल प्रिंट दी प्रिंट दी टेक्स मैसेज थ्रू टेक्सट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ ओपन योर एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो Start a new Android Studio project. Give the application name. Click on Next. Choose your platform, whatever you like, whatever you want. Select the MD activity. Click on next. Click on finish. Okay, guys. Let's start now. So, for designing the our UI, we need here three check boxes and uh, two text views and uh, one button for uh, creating the combination in those. So, let's start now. Drag it check boxes. Sorry, first of all, we need to drag it text view for the heading. And now drag check view, check the box, check boxes, and the second one will be down this, and the third one will be down this. Now we have three text boxes and one text view, and we need a one button. So let's drag now. And we need one more button. Sorry, we need one more text view for showing the final items. So click here. Okay, okay, guys. Now let's make some changes in this. Okay, guys. Now, may I can change this in this? You are watching here. So, first of all, let me bigger our heading. This. So, change this in our. And this bigger by using the Android text vision. And write text style I will use. Okay, guys, now our heading is bigger. Now our heading is bigger now, and uh, let's uh, rename our text boxes. And here we need first of all need to rename this. Okay, now, um, option one. Provide ID. ID is here. Rename the ID. Also, we need a and red on blue method. So initialize here. Okay, the on blue method will be as the initialize. It is our on blue method name. So let's uh, do same thing in this. We name this. And uh, you are watching that I will fix it soon. And uh, here we will give this name option B. And now we will change here the ID is H the ID option A. Okay, guys. Now this fix you are watching that, and we also give need here on click method. So let's uh, copy this. And paste here too. Okay, guys, same process here. Option C. Then 
so rename the id option c did i i did not change id here let me change now option b then we change here Okay, now we need to add a on click method here. I did not add here, so let me add now. Okay, now on click method have added. Sorry, where is our button left? And uh, let me change it. Then our button will be fixed. Perfectly. Okay, now button is fixed, and uh, let some make changes in our button. So I name this button done. Okay, button text have changed. Now we need to set this text view because this text view we will show our final selection. So make this bigger and bold. Make this bold by using a text style attributes. Okay, guys, now our UI is completed. Let me fix. Let me make something here. Now this fix. Let me make something here also. Okay, now this okay. Okay, guys, now our UI is done, and uh, now we need to something is mistaken here. Spelling mistake here in our first check box. Oh, this is just very much clear. And here, uh, and uh, that's option B, option C. Okay, okay. Right. Now our uh, UI is completed, and uh, now we need to go in our Java class. So first of all, guys, we need to inside our text view to so inside now. And I will give this name select items. And we also need here array list, so create that for adding the other items in array list. And path we handle it with string arguments and create a new and a new object. So object will be edit item. Guys and uh, is it called new and the path here is and the semicolon. Okay, guys, now our array list is initialized, and now. And now we need to initialize our text view in this and find by ID method. Find it, and then we need to hide our text view. So let's do it now quickly. So text view. Sorry, it is shut down. It is here. Type cast into view and find by find by ID method. And give the ID name or dot ID dot what was the ID of this text view? Let me check here. And uh, the ID of this text view was uh, this. We need this text view ID. So check boxes, check boxes. The text view selected item where where is it? Select the option which is not. Selected, select the options. To the not, there is selected items. It is here. So the ID of this 
okay, so the id is text view 2 this is the id so give here as in our text view has initialized and now we need to make this hide so let's make this hide now by using selected items dot visibility and now our text view get hide and uh, now we will and uh, now we will initialize the on click method and uh, switch statement for uh, combination in all area so let's do it now public void and what is our uh, method name let's uh, check here. our method name was select the options select the option it is our method name so paste here and pass uh, argument so guys and now here we need a boolean variable for each checked function so let's uh, create now boolean and uh, create the object c h e c checked and uh, Okay guys, so now do this. In in slide, but we need a double. So let me do in this first. So check we need a, we will use check boxes and write digit. So check box and uh, let's use you view. Do create the bracket and here we also need a bracket. View that and it's called it's check the function. And uh, semicolon. Okay, guys. And now we need to use the now we need to use the switch statement. So let's initialize and use switch statement. So let's do a switch. And uh, we will um, get the ID by this method. So view dot uh, get ID. View dot uh, get ID. Okay, guys. And uh, now. We need a hair bracket. Okay, guys, and uh, now we need to use case. So let's start case now here from here. And the case first find the ID. R dot ID dot and uh, select option A. And uh, let's. Uh, Add here, and uh, now in this by in this, uh, we will add this text in our array list. So first of all, we need to check this it, it is checked or not. So we we will use the if if statement. So use this if check by object of boolean checked, and if it checked, then we will add our Add uh, add our option in array list. Otherwise not. So let's uh, add now. So the our array list object was added items. So use that added items. Add and uh, pass the um, and pass the option option A. Semicolon. Okay, guys, and uh, okay, and else if uh, item is not clicked, then we will remove this. So let's use the else statement. Selection and edit item. Dot remove and uh, pass string option and uh, option a copy this and uh, paste here okay guys and uh, semicolon and uh, now use the break statement 
for break this condition so we we'll just break guys okay, now same this process we will use another case so let's do it now quickly fast uh, dot id dot uh, or option b and uh, if checked then we will add sorry guys and me it is okay dot add add this thing name option b okay guys and else we will remove if it is not checked else uh, edit atom dot remove of the and let's use the deck so i do the same for third this r dot id dot option c and uh, if it is checked then we uh, will add otherwise we will not add edit items dot add option c else we will remove then dot remove option c okay guys you now our search statement uh, task is completed it's going to be completed and we'll have to break here Okay, guys. So now our switch statement completed, and uh, now and uh, now we will use for the another unblock method for uh, showing our array list, showing our final selected item in the list. So let's do it now. And uh, what is our another unblock method name? This method name was. Uh, for this button we need for this button we need we have created unblock method so what was that let me see where is your button then and it is unblock method is we did not create here let me create and write on click final items final and this is our on so let's uh, initialize that for the view argument view and uh, start the brackets ok guys uh, and uh, here ok guys and uh, now here we need a st final string object so we need, we need a string object so let's create now string final option selected sorry it is taking the internal it is final it is taking the internal source so let's say name this other so final final selected s e l a c t e d okay guys now we have uh, and leave it blank Okay, as uh, now it is initialized, and uh, now we need a for loop for each loop for adding our list in for adding our options in a list in our array list. So let's create now 
for okay guys now initialize your for each loop so let's initialize for loop so need a need a string object so create that and uh, use the any of object uh, like uh, what we need to here create like we will use selections selections and uh, pass the our array list object okay guys uh, and uh, now we need to start um, do this start this. and now we need to add a and now we, use, we will use the our this is this one this one object so use now and, and final selected and plus and here we need to pass this this object of the string so let's pass now selections okay guys uh, and uh, now we need to one more thing pass here so that thing so we need to pass here it is uh, our edit items so let's pass now something is wrong here everything is okay nothing is wrong so let's uh, add a new line here otherwise if it will add from in, in, add in one line so let's uh, give a semicolon here put a semicolon here and finally we need to visible our text view for a finite final and finally we need to set our list in text view so let's uh, set now so out of this loop so let's uh, what our find what our text view is, is object it was object is selected items so let's uh, initialize now quickly select items in dot set text and pass here this and we need to pass here this object so pass here and select it guys and now we need to finally make this visible so make this visible selected items dot set visibility visible okay guys now our coding is completed now we can test our app so let's do it now quickly okay guys let's click on here run our application now Oh, sorry guys, it is not connected to my emulator. Let me restart again. My emulator. Okay guys, let's run our application now. Again. And click on OK. Install and continue. Click on OK. Let's save. Okay guys, now our application have launched in emulator. So let's check now it is working or not. So if I select option option A and uh, option B and option C, then click on done. Okay guys, now it is working fine. Option A, option B and option C has printed. Okay guys, if I select, if I uncheck this and uh, click on done. Okay now it is showing option A and option B, option C has selected. Okay guys thank you for watching my thank you guys for watching my tutorial please like and subscribe for getting the more videos thank you